Hey guys, um, it's been a couple days. I hope the last couple uh, vlogs have been a blessing to you. I hope that uh, Pastor Evan and Leon and the thoughts that they, you know, they brought forward uh, really blessed you because they it challenged me definitely to think about my circumstances, to think about who I am in Christ, and really be genuine about my relationship, genuine about my identity. You know, and along that vein, today morning I just wanted to talk about something that, for a lot of us, is hard. Um, it comes from Second Corinthians, chapter twelve, beginning from verse nine, and it reads like this: "But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness." Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. My power is made perfect in your weakness. That's what God says. Uh, God says that when you're weak, then I am strong. And it seems counterintuitive. It seems counter... I mean, God would want us to be strong, right? Wouldn't he want us to, like, face the world and battle? Like, you know, when I, when I grew up, we would sing a song, I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir, right? Um, and it was this idea, I may never shoot in the infantry, ride on the cavalry. No, it's march in the infantry, shoot. It doesn't matter. Anyways. It was a song that we sung back in like nursery, Sunday school or whatever. But it was this idea that we were part of the Lord's army. And so you grow up thinking, man, um, I'm a soldier of God. I am a um, a fighter, right? Paul talks about it, you know, to fight the good fight. So we automatically think we got to be strong. We got to build, build up our strength. We got to get really, um, you know, Ephesians um, has the... The biblical armor, right? The body armor of God. And so we're meant to be strong. We're meant to be like, ah, fight the devil, you know, take him out with the, the sword of the word. Um, but then here it, t it's, it talks about how uh, God's power, right? God's perfect power is made perfect in our weakness. He proves himself to be strong. And so we're not called to be perfect. We're not called, like, to be perfect people that have to do perfect things all the perfect time we're called to be content with our weaknesses we're called to accept our hardships accept the um the insults and the persecutions and the calamities whatever may befall us because in while we're weak while we're in that moment of weakness god comes through god shows himself to be strong we're not called to be the superheroes of this narrative we're the damsel in distress jesus is our superman jesus is the hero that comes to our rescue every single time and that's hard for us because it it puts us in a place of vulnerability it puts us in a place of i gotta trust god to take care of the little things to take care of the big things to take care of the issues in my life and so hold on to this truth my grace is sufficient it's more than enough for you for my power will be proven. It will be made perfect in the midst of your weakness. You'll see how I come through. You'll see how I can save the day for you. And Paul's response to that thought, Paul's response to God saying that is, that I'm going to boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses. I'm going to be more apparent that I am weak. I'm going to be more and more intentional to let people know that I am weak so that God can prove himself to be strong. For the sake of Christ, for the sake of God receiving all the glory, I will then be content right now with my weakness. I will be content and I will receive the hardships, the insults, the persecutions. Because I know now that when I am weak, then I am strong because Christ is in me and Christ is perfect in my weakness. So yeah, I pray that blesses you. I hope that our mindset of God's role in our life becomes a little bit clearer that He is God and He is God alone and we're called to let Him be that in our lives. Let Him be God of your life. 
Um, yeah, have a great day, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.